Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best designed Class A diesel pushers that's under 40 feet long. Also, this one sits on the Spartan chassis with independent front suspension. This is a 2023 Integra Coach Riata model 39T2. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Riata and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this beautiful Integra Coach. Riata. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. It's getting heated up here. It sure is here in Ocala. And Matt, I, I love the Riatas. It's been a while since we've done one. It really has been, and I don't know why, Andrea. Neither here nor there. It doesn't matter why. What only matters is the motorhome it's in front here. of us. Let's begin. Model is Integra Coach Riata 39T2. The actual tip tip length is 39 feet 11 inches this is the integra coach riata it sits on the spartan k1 chassis it's 360 horsepower cummins uh 6.7 engine the generator is a qd 8000 generator and it does have 800 pound feet of torque and andrea we got the generator running and it's quiet you know what i'm saying this is a very nice high-end motorhome i love what integra does with all their headlights it really is a staple to their motorhomes. Look at these little mirrors, Andrea. I know. We definitely need to talk about that. Right. Because I experienced something driving this motorhome around to the front. Curvature windshield, you see that? See how the windshield actually curves all the yes. way around? And then right up there, Andrea, is a camera. So when you're driving and you're backing up, you got that 360 camera view. Much needed, especially for a motorhome like this. In these little mirrors, Andrea, you got cameras on both sides, left side and right side. Coming on down, you're gonna see it's a beautiful full body paint. Very nice. Power awning over the door and another power awning on that slide out there. Nice big front bus style door. Right here, Andrea, we do have the keyless entry. Very nice. And then look at these tires, Dre and they're Michelins. I love these. 275-80R. 22.5 and again what makes this unique is the raised rail spartan k1 chassis which has the independent front suspension integra's claim to fame is the best riding best handling quietest motorhome in the rv industry we'll let you guys be the judges of that coming on down here we have a very nice samsung tv on the outside speakers on the outside and jbl uh speakers oh Carpeted storage. All right. Really good amount. Coming on down. We have more storage here. Ooh, more I tray. Yeah, this one's on the more I slide out tray, Andre. 800 pounds, right? And you can access this from both sides. Yes. Very nice. Right there, you can see that there is spare tiles in there uh, for the floor, okay. and just more storage right there. All right, coming on down. Right here, do you know what this is? Potable. Potable water fill. Potable, potable. Coming on down, Andre, you can also see the frameless windows. They do have these little window awnings as well, which is very different. More storage. Yes, ma'am. Right battery here's your battery, bag. electronical components, love bug. Coming around the back, Andre, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. 10,000 pound hitch. I'm not saying you can tow 10,000 pounds. Always know before you tow, make sure you always weigh your GCWR and subtract your GVWR to know exactly how much. But Andre, you're, you're gonna be good with 10,000 pounds. But again, before you say, Matt said we're good, always. Know before you tow. Yes, ma'am. And then right there, we do have the uh, uh, the air compressor or whatever for the Air Force One brakes or if you have a stacker trailer Really nice rear and then right there Andre we do have that backup camera Also, it is a one-piece fiberglass roof with three AC units and it is the whisper quiet air conditioning units 
coming on round. The driver's side. Oh, Look at that. Oh wow. Oh wow. All right. Right up there, Andrea. I didn't even see it because oh, it good blended job. in so well. Yeah. A very nice instant hot tankless water heater. Right here's where you fill up your DEF. Very nice. Ooh, nice wet bed. Yeah, outdoor shower, macerator, um, water filtration system. There's your valves. And then right over here, Andrea. Oh, other side of the storage. Yes. I do see a central vac right there, Dirt Devil. And here is the other side. You can see the Morai tray. Yes. And then here is our propane tank. And Miss Jen, if you could, bing, please put all the specifications right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. And then to wrap it all up, right here we got our fuel fill up on both sides. Right here. And Andrea, when you go like this, the generator comes out. It is, on so a it, is. it is on a slide out tray. Okay, very nice. Okay. Andrea, that generator's on. All three AC units are blasting and it's still extremely quiet. And the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, Andrea, let's cool off. Finally. All right. Cargo carrying capacity, 5,792 pounds. Okay. All right, everyone. Okay, so opposing slides. It is a little walkway, but it's definitely doable. I'm not having a problem. It does open up a lot more right here. And let me see if we can open the refrigerator. Yeah, you can open the fridge. And let's see, we've got the half bath, I believe. And then there's the master bedroom, as you can see with the tilt-a-bed. All right, I'm seeing some changes from the last time I seen a Riata. Dre, this is a big old motor home. And before we show everybody the inside, let's take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this episode. Spring is here and that means it's time to get back to the great outdoors and go camping. But don't let a bad night's sleep ruin your camping trip. That's where our friends at RVMattress.com come in. They have a wide selection of mattresses designed specifically for RVers. All of their mattresses are made 100% in the USA and they're using the highest quality of materials available and offering free shipping. Hey everyone, I'm literally driving my truck down the road and I got the announcement that they are bringing back the dynamic code for Memorial Day. 32% off from today until the end of May. Make sure you click my link and use promo code Matt again for a record 32% off. Let's continue the video. Andrea, what you said on cam off camera, you're like, this is under 40 feet. Right. 39, yes it is, 39.11. But with the big old slide outs, this feels absolutely massive. I am so excited. Let's get started off front here, Andrea. Now, just so everybody knows, we don't show Integra diesels a lot because we only sell them at our, um, we sell the Riata here in Ocala, but like the Aspire and the Anthem, we sell them at our up north stores and we don't get up there too much. But whatever Integra you guys like, reach out to us, we can help you. So right up here is our control center. We got our air horn, battery boost. You got adjustable pedals right here, uh, auxiliary brake, everything that you want. Here's your daytime shades and privacy shades. For the drivers, you got your auto leveling right here. Look at the window right there too. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Again, tiny, tiny mirrors, Andrea. We will talk about that, but this uh, Spartan chassis, telescoping steering wheel, digital dash right there. Right here we got the radio, navigation, everything you want. Your Allison transmission, cup holders here, and nice little drawer right there. Andrea? How do you feel in the co-captain seat? It is super comfortable, Matt. Um, it does have a footrest. Of course. Both these seats do swivel. I would totally sit in this chair because it's just really comfortable. And it has a step cover here. Oh, very so nice. that way, you know, you're not falling in there. Right. I, Let it go all the way out because yes. I think it might. Yep, you see how it goes up? Nice. Nice. Okay. And so I was like, oh, is there a workstation? But I don't see one over here. All I have is a cup holder. Okay, so no workstation. No. It is okay. 
Right up here, Andrea, we got some storage there. All right, storage here. And again, with this like felt like material on the inside of the cabinetry, I actually don't mind that as much. I think um, it's, I, I'm not a, you know, I'm not fond of the brown, but I actually like this in here. It looks good. The cabinetry? Yeah. Nice. And then right over here, Andrea, we do have a bunk over the cab. Thank you, ma'am. Now, I wonder if the weight is going to be 800 pounds no. or 750. So one, if anything, it'd be 750 because that's what Integra does. Oh, but, but it's I don't very think, little. I would imagine it's going to be 350 oh, yeah. to this 500. Is a this is a single bed. Right. Yeah, this isn't your traditional Integra bunk over the cab. It does have a ladder that goes there. Yes, yes. And then coming on into the living room, Andrea, we have beautiful stuff going on here. You said you do like this cabinetry? I do. Nice. I yeah. like the brown. It's not like an icky brown. Right. It's not real dark, so just more natural looking. Yes, we have very nice Art Deco. Yes, no, <laughs> but oh. it's cute. I don't know. I like it's it. Cute. I like it. Right over here, let's check out these balances, huh? Integra's doing something different. A little, they are. A little check mix action. Andrea? Approved! Bing! Oh, you like these balances? I do! It's, nice! It's cute. And look at the light sconce. Very cute there. Sconce! And then over here, Andrea, we have these very nice... Uh-oh. Oh, you found it. Help me! Oh, man. <laughs> that is very, very nice. We got our remote holder right here. There is also cup holders and right here and there. And Seat then, belts in the chairs. Yes, ma'am. Oh, nice. Directly across from the TV, which is on a televator. Now, Andrea, I'm like one inch away from not being able to push this button. Uh-oh. But just like that, you got your Samsung TV that goes all the way up. I do see it has a nice sound bar up there. Yes, ma'am. Storage. Storage. Oh, sorry guys, storage. And then we've got, oh, adjustable shelves in there. Same on that side? Yes, ma'am, adjustable Very shelves nice. over here. Also notice right there, power and USB right there, kind of built into the side. Right here, we have a very nice sofa. Cup holders here, and Andrea, this is definitely one of my favorite floor plan styles, especially for people who are looking to entertain. You know what I'm saying? You got a nice social circle here. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, you, ha you can't watch TV from this sofa, so you're watching it from that side. But again, if you're sitting, if somebody's sitting over here, it's because you're like mass entertaining. So what does this sofa do? Is I it a full just, pull out? Yeah, oh, it's yeah. a full pull out nice. right there. Very, very nice. I like the TV. It's up when it's stuck, and then when it's down, you know, you're all the way. And then over there, Andrea, is a very nice dinette. Now, before we show everybody the dinette, go over this real quick. Okay. This what this what I want people to pause the video if they're seriously up interested in an Integra motorhome because these are the key features that's making it different from the competition. And I'm actually really happy. Um, I know Todd put this in here, with, and I don't know that, but I'm assuming he did. But uh, this is really important because as salespeople, we don't know everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everything's so, always changing. Right. To have that just right there to speak about your highlights, it's oh, important. Oh, interesting. Oh, different. Oh, wow. These different. are... I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't like that. It's okay, different. they flip downwards. Nice uh, shades. Just so everybody knows, we do have privacy blinds and daytime blinds. This is a dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. Okay. Solid surface countertop. Comfortable. It's a two-person dinette. I know it looks like a four-person, but there ain't no way, especially with this. You know what I'm saying? It's just, and, and nothing wrong with that. It's just a two-person dinette. Let's see if there's storage. There is seat belts. Okay. Oh, yes, good. Okay, nice. So the, the cushion lifts up. Now, yep. Matt, look at this picture. It's adorable. Art Deco. <laughs> it's so cute. Very nice. And Tiger was killing it with the artwork yeah. this episode. That's the Riata. Andre, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this? I'm ready. MSRP on this motorhome here. 
$426,225. Andrea, that is MSRP. But everybody knows we sell a ton of Integra coaches, which means we sell a ton of all the Integras. You ready for the sale price? Yes. $299,995. Andrea, that's almost a $130,000 discount off MSRP. And guess what's even better? What? As great of a price as that is, I think I can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or you can call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us any way you can. Our team is here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, show us this beautiful kitchen. Okay, look at this. We've got some nice cabinets here. Very nice. Nice big window here in the kitchen. And I think this, oh, wow. There's a thing right there in the side, in the middle. Oh, there it is, jeez. Put little spices in Sugar there. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Solid surface countertop, very pretty. Let's see what we got here. We got a peninsula. Very nice. Look at that. That's a pull-out peninsula. Good side. Look at that. Wow. Drawer. Wow. Drawers on drawers on drawers. Two. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you definitely can pack this kitchen. Oh yeah. All right. Over here we've got. Is it a double? Nope. It's a residential style sink with the extension here. And then look at this, Andre. This is a selling tool. Integra. Todd, you are the best. Integra Riata fiberglass roof, half inch plywood. There you go, man. Wow. I love it. Okay, let's see what we got under here. We've got, ooh, nice storage under hey, there. Hey, that's a $157 <laughs> trash can. It sure is. And then we got the Insignia convection microwave. Yes, ma'am. Another one of these. Mmm. Wow. Two burner Furion induction cooktop. Yes, ma'am. Another drawer here. Okay. And then, let's see, we've got the pantry. Oh, I look at this. Wow. So nice. Yes, ma'am. This is a nice motorhome. Yeah, it really is. Yes. Okay, so we got the residential LG refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you can wow. see that. Wow. Oh, that's nice. They give you a filter instead so of you have to, like, look for it. There we go. Wow. And then behind us, what do we have? The Firefly system. Okay. Control everything, bed slide, tilt up, power awning, everything that you need. And then Andre, we're here in the half bath. Ooh, big medicine cabinet. For all your medicines. Right here, solid surface countertop. Nice sink right there, toilet placement holder in a good spot. Little, a little bit, bit more storage. Okay. Close, Andrea. But you know what they say in the Fast and the Furious? You win by an inch or you win by a mile, Andrea. <laughs> this is the prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. I'm gonna have to start watching all these movies again just to keep up with you. I mean, if you don't know, now you do know. <laughs> Look at the entryway going into the master bedroom. Good entry, nice pocket door here. Right here. Nice countertop area, nice big window. You push this Ooh, button. Oh, I like that. Just like in the living room, the TV comes all the way up. While it's coming up, you can see that we have a huge wardrobe, adjustable shelving in this as well. And then on this side, we still we have adjustable shelves. Yes. Down here, we have lots of drawers. Right. These six drawers. Yep. And those are bigger, which is nice. Okay. Very nice. And then we've got the king size tilt of view bed here. Okay, Andre, do you like that artwork? Um, mm, it's okay. Really? Yeah, it's okay. I don't get it. It looks like a giraffe. It looks like know. somebody got paid and a four year old could have done it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I, guess what? What? It's Art Deco. Um, I, I don't think so. We got storage above the bed. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got it here as well. Posing. Bro. What? Did you say a giraffe? I, I kind of see like a giraffe. 
Do you not see? Like over here with the red and the orange, like the neck. Okay. It, I don't know, I guess you have to have an imagination. Let me tell you something, America. <laughs> I have an imagination. I don't see no stinking giraffe. Well, I do, I am very hashtag, excited. Hashtag giraffe. If you see a giraffe, let us know. Or at least a body of a giraffe. The body, I don't see the freaking <laughs> soul of a giraffe in here. I'm All right. Up. Headboard right there. Uh, what else do we got going all on? All right, so we have uh, nightstands on each side and you've got some storage down here posing windows and i believe it's the same on your side as well yeah and then right here yep the you storage got a little, little storage action okay so coming into the um bathroom there is a step up yep look at this oh nice one piece fiberglass yes shower. i like that there's a seat in there yep it's a good size it we mentioned this last diesel. Um, I definitely want a bigger shower and a diesel pusher. This is the bare minimums, and, and it's fine. But when, when you say the D word, diesel, I want something real big. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want a big old shower, a walk-in shower. Oh. To the left, to the right. Stackable washer oh, and dryer. Oh, yes, ma'am. Very ma nice. And then over here, let's see, we've got, oh, oh wow. wow, look at this, oh, this wow. is interesting. Yep. That is very interesting. Look at that. And then underneath, we've got a drawer. Yep. And then the medicine cabinet. Oh yeah. And then we've got, you know, nice solid surface here, good sink, and then some more storage under. Yep. And then, oh, look at the backsplash, it's different. They should have did that in the kitchen too. Oh, the absolute best black tank treatment in the industry. Guys, that's created by us, the Matt's Review Reviews team. Go to primepoopmusician.com, pick yourself up a bottle. Okay. Andrea. Yes. Does that backsplash look like giraffes? No. Well. Looks like hopscotch. Neither does the painting. Just that. Just that. Just saying. All right. That's the macerated toilet, right? Oh, Matt, you know it's a PPP. Uh, yeah, I You're no, trying to confuse us. No, no, no. I, I just can't get off the fact that you thought <laughs> that graffiti over there looked like a giraffe. You said graffiti? That's graffiti. That's artwork. I know art. Andrea, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Says by the man who asked me what Club Art Deco is for the last three years. What are you talking about? Or asking me what Art Deco means, and I have to keep explaining it to I, you. I know what it means, Andrea. <laughs> I know what it means. But that's it, and that's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay. For the first time in a long time, all three of them are outside. Dislike number one. Andrea, <laughs> dislike number one is definitely the carpet and the storage. Now, as comfortable as I am in here, laying here, I don't want to be comfortable. I want to have a nice plastic material or the um, diamond plate rock guard material. This carpet, I just don't like it for the storage. That's just like number one, Andrea. What's this like number two? Andrea, number two for me, it's going to be these tiny mirrors. Oh man. We're in a big old diesel, Andrea. I want the biggest, most arrogant mirrors. I want to be able to see my left side, my right side. I want to be able to see everything in the big mirrors. I can't believe how small these mirrors are. The good news is if you're buying this motorhome, you can afford to upgrade the mirrors. A, I don't think a dealership would do that. I don't know who would do that, but you know, I would just get bigger mirrors. You know what I'm saying? I um, agree. You know, don't, hey, I swear to God, do not tell people, Matt said you can upgrade our mirrors. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I, I'm assuming you could do that. And that's something that the dealership wouldn't do. But uh, hopefully Integra sees this and they give you a lot bigger mirrors on the uh, next generation. That's number two. And then Andre, we actually have one more on the outside. Andrea, dislike number three. We are outside on all three of them. Yes. What is dislike number three? Dislike number three is the power cord not being on a reel. I don't get it. I don't get it either. This, I would have thought it would have been because it's a high-end luxury motorhome. It's a diesel pusher. Right. That is a must. 
and they had the space for it. Exactly. I don't understand why it's not there, Andrea. I don't understand either. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Great, that's three things we don't like about it, Andrea. Now it's time for three things we oh, love about it. Wow. What do you do first? Okay, so you know what? My first like is, I really, really like the interior in here. Whoa. I have to say it. Talk to me. They did a good job. I'm not even really a fan of like dark. Okay. It looks good. Like the, the wood looks natural. Even everything's just thrown in together good. The artwork, the yeah. bounces, the lights. Even the color of the floor. Yeah. They did I, a very good job in here. And yeah, good job, Integra. That's number one. Andre, number two for me is going to be driving this thing. This is a bad motor home. It's Spartan. It's independent front suspension. And it's different. You know, don't get me wrong. I love Freightliner. And nine out of ten people are buying the Freightliner. But to have that option to get the Spartan chassis, the independent front suspension, is fan freaking tastic. That's number two. And then, Andre, do you have a number third? Uh... Number three for me is going to be, I would say, I love all the storage in here too. You know, you have the the bedroom that has all the drawers, yes. the wardrobe, shelves, yes. the shelves, and you know, I love the pantry too. They just did a good job with the storage in here. And Andrea, I'm going to combo that with the, just the deep slide outs, you know what I'm saying? It's big, it's spacious, I like the pull out peninsula. This, this motorhome can entertain a lot of people at one time. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys are interested in this motorhome, please reach out to my team. We've linked General RV slash Matt's Cash down in the YouTube description below. Fill out that form, and a member of my team will be here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Uh, Integra does read the comments, and they do watch the video, so please leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.